Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to look at how to install OpenCTI platform, which is open source threat intelligent platform. You can connect all the other threat intelligent, not all, I mean most of the other threat intelligent sources to this one single platform. And then you can view a dashboard view and you can analyze what threat intel you can gather from all around the cyber world. So this is free and open source project. You can simply Google this and you can find this OpenCTI GitHub page. So this is the everything. The code is open source. You can have a look on the code. Everything is there. So today we are going to look at how we can do the installation and we are going to look at how we can do the other platform integration with this OpenCTI. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Docker installation, not the manual installation. So if you want to go to the documentation part, you can simply click use Docker option here and then you will get into the Docker page here. So this is the installation part, all the other documentation in this page. I will put the link in the description. Feel free to go and have a look. For that, I'm using my Ubuntu 22.4 virtual machine inside the VMware workstation. You can install the Ubuntu first and then come up with the these options. If you don't have any Ubuntu, you can use Kali or any other Linux version, which is totally fine. Or if you want to install with Windows, that's also possible. So first of all, I'm going to have a look on the documentation. We have some prerequisites. First, we need to install the Docker Compose and then we need to clone the Git repository and then we need to configure some parameters and then we can run the Docker container. So I am going to open my terminal here. Hope you guys can see it clearly. And then what I'm going to do is copy this part, sudo install docker compose and paste it up here. And then I'm going to add my password. Now you will get this prompt and then simply you have to type Y and then press enter. Then it will start to install the docker compose from the internet. This is really depend on your internet speed and the connection you have to wait a little bit once it once it's done then we can proceed with the next steps so next step going to be a create a folder for the open CTF platform and then you can simply copy the github repository in here i would like to navigate to the opt folder and i like to create folder in here sudo mkdir maybe i would say open cti for this one and i will go to that folder and then i'm going to clone the repository as per the documentation i'm going to copy this part in the documentation I would add sudo and I'm going to clone the repository and it's done if you do ls the docker folder is there we can simply go to the docker folder and we can list what components inside the docker folder so we need to Pay attention about the env.sample file as well as docker compose yaml file. In the first step, we are only going to deal with this file. Then after that, once we do the installation and everything, then we need to edit few things in this file to integrate the other threat intel platform with this one. First of all, I would like to install Sublime Text because it's easy to edit these files using Sublime Text. Otherwise, there could be some intendation errors. So 
I have already downloaded the sublime text deb file. I'm going to open the terminal up here. I will increase the font size a little bit. I will install that one sudo dpkg-i and the file name and press enter give my credentials and it will install you can check whether it has installed or not sub using sub l command then it should open the sublime text there we go so we do have the sublime text now i'm going to copy the env.sample as .env i'm going to take a copy of that cp dot env dot sample into dot env or oh, we don't have permission i would add sudo and then do it and then again i can do ls minus la now you can see we have dot env file and we have the sample file we are going to configure this file and we are going to save that file in the same place for that i'm going to use sudo sub l which means i'm going to open the file from sublime text which file dot nv file and press enter and then it will open up here uh, i will increase the size of this one as well then you can see it way more better here are the places which we need to edit if you see the change me option in here you need to edit all those places what you have to do is you need to set open CTI admin password. Here I'm going to set admin at one, two, three as my password. And then you have to set admin token. This should be UUID version four. The simple way to do it, you can simply go to the Google and you can use UUID version four generator. Go to the online tool, online website, copy the code in here and delete this part and you can paste that and the url you really need to set your local ip address on your vm machine i am going to check my ip address in my case in my case i'm going to use 201 ip address now i'm going back again and going to set that one I'm going to paste this one so my open cti url is going to be this ip along with the 8080 port number and again we need to set access key for health check you can go to this uuid generator page again and repatch that one and then you will get a new code and copy that token and paste it here and then you need to set the password for Minio root. I'm going to use the same thing, admin and one, two, three. This is for our demo, so you can put any password. Again, same thing, admin and one, two, three. And we can change these ones later, but I don't want to change them. I will leave as it is. I think it's all good now. I can save the file, control S and then i can close this one okay we are good to go now we do have configured.env file and then let's see what step we have to do i am not setting up these environment variables and all those stuff because i tested this one and it's working fine with the way i am doing i think it's fine and now we need to run the docker services first and then we can up the docker compose. To run the docker services, I can simply copy this command and paste it here. And I think it should be okay. If you want to double check, you can check the status here. Status. And you can see it's running, it's fine. Okay, now we can up the docker compose for that we are typing sudo docker compose up minus d or tag d and press enter now it might take little time because it's first time we are trying to 
of the docker compose it has to download few things over the internet again it will be depend on your internet connection and the speed so this might take little time we'll wait for that one and then we'll go for the other step after few minutes the composing process has been completed now which means our docker is up and running now you can go to your browser and if you use localhost simply you can browse localhost and port 8080 in my case it's 192.168.100.201 port 8080 which we will navigate to the OpenCTI web interface this is the login page I will maximize this one this is the login page the login username should be admin at openCTI.io this is by default username you can change it later and the password the password which we have set earlier which in my case admin at 123 and then I would able to open cti.io and then I'm in so this is the interface of the open cti once you ingest the data or once you feed the data into this platform it will looks like as this image I don't have the real one to show you but in their github form you can see it would be look like this so the thing is we need to feed the data to this platform in order to do that we need to do few things there are several ways that we can feed the data if you go through this menu you can see ingestion click that one and you can feed the data using OpenCTS teams taxi feeds rss feed csv feeds as well as connectors what I'm going to show you is how you, you can use the connectors to feed the data. When you click the connectors, you can see few things up here. But we need to do some configurations in the Docker Compose YAML file and then we can come up to this page again. First of all, we need to find the connectors really. For that, you can simply Google like open cti connectors then there's a github page for that one as well in the same thing and then you can click external import this is where the yaml file or the yaml file are configured you can use a lot of thread intel platform the other platforms so you can pick whatever you want um, in my case i would like to use the virus total one which is easy for you to demonstrate or you can use maybe Cisco SMA and I think there's MyTray also there yeah MyTray is there and MISP is there you can use anything I'm going to use the virus total one just for the demonstration when you go to that folder you will see few files you need to only focus on docker compost.yaml file just click on that one and you can see we need to configure the OpenCTI URL and the token and we need to add the virus total API key. If you don't have virus total API key, you have to go to the virus total website, then you can create an account and then you will get the API key virus total website. I hope you guys are aware of this website. If you don't know, please leave a comment. I will do a separate video for this one. You can simply sign up from here and then you can generate the API key. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole part. Actually, we don't need everything. We need only from here to here, this part. I'm going to copy this and then we need to navigate to the Docker folder again and then i'm gonna do ls minus a now this copied part we need to configure in this docker compose.yaml file for that i'm going to open this again in the sublime text 
and then you will see this kind of configuration page just go very bottom of the configuration page and then you can paste the copied content in here I'm pasting this one here see this is the virus total that one and we can copy this part a little bit differentiate this one we need to add this part end of all the connectors so in that case oh it's there i'm gonna paste it again yeah that's there so this is the virus total configuration the feed configuration we need to change few things here first we need to add our local ip address in your case it might be different in my case it's 192.168.100.201 and the token you can copy the token from here open cti token it would be this one so you need to copy the same thing and then you can paste the token here and if you have a api key you can add the api key in here then it will try to get the data from virus total and show it on the open cti dashboard i don't have the api key at the moment so i'm gonna leave it blank you can add that one later if you want and looks good for me i'm gonna save the file I'm going to minimize this and then what you have to do is you have to run this docker compose up d command again yep it's working now it's tried to pull the data from the virus total platform now it's been done the connector has been created you can again go to the your open cti and then you can refresh this if you configure this correctly now you will able to see the virus total under the connector ingestion page yep it's up here now so it might take time once you add the api key and then it will try to get the data from the virus total and then you will able to see the dashboard is filling up so this is it for today's video i hope you guys learned something through this if you have any question in related to this one feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and thank you very much for your time guys thank you